Hey there everyone, it's David with the UFO Dave page on Facebook. I'm currently still up in uh, up the Sunshine Coast in a small town where I've been tracking this monster, these monsters rather, because there are more than one. I wanted to show you this area that I've seen from a kayak from out in the lake where the um, cave is. So this area, I've literally just gotten out of my vehicle here and you can see the shoreline along here and immediately right there Giant claw marks have taken out part of that rock. So this is the area where I've posted about, uh, or talked about in a previous post, where there's some nesting areas where the rocks have been kind of pushed to the side. So there's a semi-circular kind of nest where uh, these creatures have been. Hear my voice. There's a lot of traffic right now. It's low tide, so uh, I had to come out late in the day to get the rocks I'm going down there where they're not underwater. Okay, back again. I don't know what happened. That was really weird. I came here with three fully charged batteries, and the first one has died within the first few minutes. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Uh, here we go. I'm going to go along through a pathway that goes through the woods and comes out along that area down there where I'm going to explore a little bit and show you what I find. This is actually part of the Sunshine Coast Trail. Vehicles going by. It's also the Highway that goes from Desolation Sound all the way down to Mexico. The 101 Pacific Coast Highway. Well, the, the Canadian part of the Pacific Coast Highway. Anyhow, here's the uh, pathway going into the darkness from the light. If I am never heard from again, you guys can have my P900. <laughs> All right. This is way down here. I'm not going to go down there. It's kind of risky. But uh, you can already see claw marks on the rocks. When I went by here, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago in a kayak, there was so much evidence that I just had to come back here on foot and try and see it for myself. Anyhow, off I go. All along here, I'm looking down from above, probably 30 feet up, but all along these rocks, you can see claw marks. Look at that right there. Right off the bat, all the way along these rocks. There we go. Still hear the traffic, but it's getting distant. There's a uh, ladder off of this old, looks like an old bridge, but there's a ladder. A good place to uh, maybe go up and spend the night and see what we can see. Good surveillance spot. Safe. I don't see any prints on top of there. Anyhow, off we go.
little pathway again off here. Old beer bottle just sitting up by itself. See, you can see a ladder's been put there. That wasn't there. Put there before. Mm, normal folk put that there so they could get up and probably jump off of there into the water. Wonder how many people have jumped into the water and not come back up. Anyhow, off we go. Watch out for the beer bottle. Okay, there was a fork in the path. And this is sort of a less traveled pathway. I've gone past a rope swing and uh, anyway, there's a part of the path that's fallen away here. But again, I'm gonna just show you what's down. I'm getting closer to the water from where I am, but all on these rocks. Oh, look at the, the gouges out of the rocks, claw marks. Something's gone over that and taken chunks out of the rocks. Anyway, onward. Okay, so that path kind of came to a dead end at the water, but it didn't seem that there was a lot of, uh, well, it didn't seem like it was very easy to get past there. So I came back and I'm gonna go up this pathway and see how far it takes me. Let's go. Okay, coming over the top of a little hill here. We'll see what's on the other side. Oh, down, pathway down through, hopefully bringing us back towards the water. Let's see, it's really quite slippery, so I'm not gonna be holding my camera very much because I can't pay attention to where I'm walking as I'm videotaping. But there you go, that's where I'm headed. Right through that area down there. Off we go. As I'm walking, I'm looking through the woods and looking off to the side, I see this big old tree that's fallen down. So close to it, my camera can't get the entire thing, but I start looking at this and I start looking at these rocks that have come down, small rocks again, all look like they've been broken up. Little rocks, they don't just fall down like this. You can see claw marks in them. And I start looking up the, uh, the hill here and there are so many claw marks in this rock face where you can see something has taken a path up to a flat spot. And there's a lot of, like look at this one right here. Look at that. Giant claw mark, something took that out. Anyway, this is a nest for sure, up on this top spot. I wonder if I can climb up. But you can see the trees are broken away as well. But it could have been from this uh, tree coming down. But this whole area since the tree has come down, you know, so many little rocks that have been broken off. This thing just loves to sit and chew on rocks. So hopefully, I mean, it's climbed up here for sure. You can see the path that it's taken up the side. And up here, up at the top here. Look at all these broken off pieces. That doesn't occur naturally. And the scrape marks in the rock. Chunks taken out of it. Anyhow, I'm gonna head up here and see what I can find. I'll keep the camera going just in case. Maybe there's something coming up from 
coming down from the trees that we have to be careful with. This is definitely one of its nests. And if it is cloaked and looking at me right now, then I could be a meal in no time flat. Like, look at all these, look at this, okay? The same, same triangular chunks taken out. This one here scratches on it. All of these rocks, all of these rocks have these triangular, look at that, another one. That's a claw mark right there. All of these little rocks going up this hill right to the top where there's a flat spot. I don't even know if I can get up there, but something has scrambled up here repeatedly. Up to this flat spot up here, man. You can see it's fresh, fresh marks. I don't know if a bear is gonna be climbing up, scratching at these trees as it goes, pulling itself up. You can see the claw marks in the rock. Up here, where is it? Jeepers, can't get my camera going. But anyway, there's claw marks all going up the, the side here. All right, up we go. I hope. Get my footing here. All of these broken rocks, they've been bitten. Look at this one right here. Triangle chunk taken out of it. Same deal. Every time, all of these rocks here. Leading up to this little spot, they've been chewed. They're all just, yeah, look at this. And a big rock up on the top it's been chewing on too. Look, look, look at this. See? That's a claw mark right through that rock. Right through the rock. All of these have been bitten, all these rocks. Chewed on, bitten. All right. Yeah, gotta turn the camera off. Don't have a footing with this camera in my hand. I'll get back to you, or I won't. Okay, it's definitely come up here and chewed on rocks. You can see the pile of rocks over here. Little, little chewed rocks. This big one here. And look on the side of that little, that side of the rock. You can see a little notch, a little slice. Some claw has come through it. It's not a bear claw. So yeah, this is a, a perch, a nest. I'll come back and I need better equipment to get up here and see it. But anyway, there you have it. Along the way, this is about 50 feet up from the water, you can see. I'll show you where the water is. Down there. Uh, I've climbed up this rocky, all these chunks of rock that is taken and bitten, chewed, little pieces of rocks everywhere. Look at that one with a little slice. I think I'm going to take that one right there. Look how, okay, right there. Look at the slice, right? A slice right in the rock. A souvenir this effort. All right, off we go into the wild blue yonder. Okay, I managed to pull myself up. Look at all the slices on these rocks. Look at all the chew marks and the, the teeth marks all over these rocks. Anyway, I'm up. There's the pathway down there. People walking along and this thing is up here just looking down. Chew marks there. All these rocks, this is a plateau. You can see, look, look at the freaking claw marks coming up over the top of that. Using this to come up and all the marks, even there in the, in that stone right there, you can see the triangular marks from its claws making these triangles. Anyway, been up here. Look at that, right there. 
right there again, that one, and the one next to it, that one there. Same things, it's going all the way up to another level. Oh my god. All oh, claw marks over all of these rocks as it goes up here, around the corner, clawing its way up. Look at that one, right? That mark right in the rock right there. That is a slice with a claw right into that rock face, right into that rock. That's probably about three inches in height, but then up to another level with a bunch of crushed rock again. It's chewing on rocks and there's its nest right there, right there. Chewed rocks everywhere. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Look, and above that, all the way up, more of these triangular and claw marks taking taking chunks of rock out up above it. Look at that. Again, I've got pictures of that from other places. Anyway, I'm getting down out of here. I'm feeling a bit nervous. Okay, made it down. So there you have it, a two-layer perch with crushed rocks and just evidence of this thing all over the rock face and everywhere, all these crushed rocks here. It's been chewed up and bitten by it. Onward, onward along the pathway. Again, giant boulders. I wonder if these have claw marks all over them too. David Polites talks about people missing around boulders around rocks well because it loves rocks this is a giant one this is one right here this is a big claw mark see how the chunk of rock was taken out here that's its handy work anyway I mean I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if this entire chunk was taken out by it one starting here boom the entire thing and it just falls down the hill See? Oh my goodness. Why? How people don't see this? How do people not see that? Claw mark. A big claw mark on the side of this. Oh man. That's crazy. And then up here too. Slices in the rock. Giant boulder. Slices. Chips taken out of it from it. Yeah. And along the side here too. See? Damage to the rock. And a triangle right there, a little chip taken out from a claw. These triangles occurring naturally? Please, somebody tell me that these occur naturally. Make yourself look like a complete idiot. Anyway, claw marks back here with the same kind of thing. Chunks taken out below there. Everywhere here. All the face of this rock, all over the face of this rock. You can see, you can see, look at that whoa man look fresh little triangles little chunks of rock taken out by something that has claws okay that's not a bear doing that oh geez I almost fell into the water hey, can you imagine 50 feet down do, 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 boom anyway it's either falling down off of here or getting eaten by a monster onward folks I think there's a, another another uh, a little uh, fork in the road here, fork in the path. But look at this, look at this. Okay, yeah, okay, you could say fox or something or whatever makes a home in there. In there? Down in there. Um, in there, but uh, wow. And seeing what's around here, all this evidence, claw marks and everything, it's just nuts. I bet you it just scales up here, just climbs up the hill here. Up into the woods, there's a bunch of places for it to nest up there. It, them. Multiples, man, there's more than one. And then down here on the beach, I might come over to here. I could have gotten there from the other area. All these marks on that, on that stump, claw marks, it scratches its claws and chews on the rocks. Anyway, onward. Let's take the left hand path since I'm left handed. 
Oh, more rocks. Oh, this takes us right down to the beach. Good. Good, 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 because I was going to say, look around here. More rocks. These rocks don't just, the pieces don't just fall off like that. These are being, these pieces are being taken off by something that's just coming along and chewing it, grinding it up, maybe sharpening its teeth, sharpening its claws. Or it's just incidental, you know, it comes up off the beach, climbing its way up the hill, and it's got a claw into something to get, get a grip. All this, look, man. I mean, I see it so clearly now. All the areas where it's been just scrambling over the rocks. Anyway, we're heading down to the beach. I'll get back to you. Okay, I arrived on the beach. We've landed on the beach. And what do we see? You know, I literally haven't even stepped onto from the pathway. I've just come off the pathway and what do we see? Broken rocks with triangles, little triangles. Look at that one right there. Little notches in every single rock I see. That one, look at that. Crazy, man. Look, the triangles. Right there. Yeah, that's naturally occurring. Sure thing. I can look anywhere on this beach and see. Chunks taken out of rocks. Claw marks in the rocks. Just like everywhere. Whether there are tiny little notches taken out of them, you can see there's kind of a triangle. There is one as well. I mean, they're everywhere. This thing is just, these things just scramble over the rocks. Where's that one? There. And there. And there. It looks like a bite mark. single rock has been touched by these things. Scratched or bitten, chewed on, whatever. So there I was at the bridge over there. Now I've managed to make my way down. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we are. You know, I was talking about nests and all this kind of stuff. Well, <laughs> there you go. I mean, just... If you think that someone, a person, has come along and pushed these rocks to the side like this, making a semicircular patch with this giant notch taken out of this rock. That's a giant triangle. See? Like a teepee. Okay? This is a semicircular or circular patch where it sits. It's got nests everywhere, and I'll show you. This is only one of dozens, I'm sure. Um, anyway, I mean, all along this beach, you can see. Little triangle notch is taken out there. That is not naturally occurring. That is where the, <laughs> I think that's where the claw started. Above there, right there. There's another claw mark going that way something taken out of there. I mean, everywhere you look, there's just triangular scratch marks. These right here are claw marks. This one right across the top gouged right into it. Look at that. Right into the rock. 
back in more, more. These are fresh, okay? Don't tell me this is billions of years, millions and hundreds of millions of years of these little chips. These little right there, okay? Matching gouges out of the rock. They're all along this rock, you can see. Chunk taken out there. Little chunks, the rock has been disturbed here. You can see something that went in there and went and broke that rock. You can see it's loose. Chips all here. They all of these. All of these marks. Right over the top. Right there. Triangle right there. Scratch marks. This is fresh. This one right here is fresh. Look, you can see it's exposed the rock underneath. So, let me get my point and stick, point and walk and stick, whatever. There, you can see, with that, sorry, there, you can see, triangle. It's gouged out the rock right there. And then right there, fresh, fresh. All these. Right there, right there. Gouges across the top of this, triangles in them right here, boom, there, that one, that one. And all these along the rocks. There's another patch there. You can see, I just... Oh. Gosh, I'm walking over claw marks in the rocks, teeth marks, another teeth mark looking chunk taken out of that rock. And uh, then again, see, I don't know if you can see this, but this one's quite subtle. But look, around this area, you can see this circular or semicircular spot. where there's not really many rocks and it looks like the rocks have been kind of pushed up along the edges. Let's come down around the other side of this stump. You can see, look, there's almost a, and with the claw marks. Okay, so we got a, a pathway that's leading up here. I'll try and show it to you. Rocks like this one right here that have been touched, okay? this triangle right here and it was going in the other direction when it came there okay triangles everywhere claw marks on the rocks triangle shapes TP this one right here this one this one okay and leading up you can see a little grassy area probably grassy because this thing's peeing all over this area or something and then it goes up here you know, I'll, show you a couple more here as I go. There's another one. There's one right there. I mean you can probably see them. That is a scratch mark. The rock has been sheared off by something. And then this whole thing it's flattened. There's a grassy area. And then it goes up here. I'm walking up the path over scratch marks, claw marks and everything into this semicircular area where there's grass it's a little more lush and all the rocks are pushed to the side and you can see rocks that are freshly this one right here freshly chewed you can see sharpened edges claw marks in the rocks again this one's fresh along this rock right here along here fresh fresh destruction on the rocks up here Fresh. Look at all that jagged rock down in here. Something's clawed that. And even up here you can see it's gone up almost like this is its pathway. Taken up up here and all these rocks are almost like they're flattened down as it's taken this pathway up here and up into the woods, up the hill to its perch. And you can see all of these rocks if you pause the video, I'll zoom in. Oh, I'll just step on that rock that it bit. 
Look at there, right at my feet. This one right here. Jagged claw mark taken out of the rock. That's cool. Anyhow, you can see all along the beach here. All the way along, it's come up. Okay. You see this gouge taken out of this tree? Yeah, right here. This matches one that was on a rock. I'll try and find it. It's a photo I took on a rock that the only way that this chunk could have been taken out of the rock is if something came up out of the water and climbed up the rock face. But it was pretty much exactly like that big indentation there. You can see that it's almost like it's come down from above. Like that's the front. And you can see the claw digging into the wood making that triangle, upside down triangle. But this is a, a stump. There's a lot of these sort of dead trees, stumps that have been left here. But this thing has come over it and made a gouge out of it. I don't know how it did it. From, it looks upside down, so maybe it climbed right over the top. Like it slithered right over the top and came down the other side. Anyway, rocks everywhere here just have gouges taken out of them. I could step one foot in either direction and you'll see. Like look at this one. There's a slice of valley right through that. Something is taken that out. I can't move it. <laughs> it's so heavy. Anyhow, oh, there's one right there. Wow, look at that. Fresh chunk taken right out of that. Yeah, so many of these kind of rocks with these fresh chunks taken out of them and other ones like that. That's a claw mark right there, and it's going in that direction, in that direction, towards the uh, nest that we just found around that jaggedy tree. Huh, everywhere here. Look, another little area where it's gone in. The rocks have been pushed to the side. Little nests everywhere. Okay, let's go for a walk. I mean, all along here, now that I see it, they're everywhere. Triangular chunks taken out of rocks. I can take one step in every direction, and there they are everywhere. Everywhere. Every single one of these rocks has a notch or a freshly chewed area in it. Everything. Chewed rocks everywhere. It's been just slithering over all these rocks, chewing on them, and then going up and nesting. Anyhow, I'm going to put the camera away for a sec because it's kind of rocky and I don't want to twist an ankle, you know. Oh, jeepers. Where is that? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I'm going to go along the beach along here. Okay, here's another nest. Kind of rocks been pushed to the side, making, making kind of a semicircular, more flattened spot. There's one rock in the middle, but it can coil around them. And look, right off to the side from there is a triangular or teepee-shaped chunk out of it. Freshly exposed rock. Chewed on pieces of rock down there. That's one with a jagged, look at that, chunk taken out of that, a valley in it. All over these rocks, that rock has been destroyed. Fresh, fresh marks on all these rocks. Every one. Look at that one. That's a claw mark. And look at it. Made it like an S shape with its claw mark in the solid granite. Jeepers. And chew marks in the rocks. Yeah, so anyway, it's come up here and sat right there. In between these boulders. Right there. It's just low tide, so I can see a lot of this stuff. The rocks that have been chewed on and the freshly uh, exposed rock that's everywhere. Everywhere, all these notches taken. Okay, my battery died again really quickly, so I'm gonna 
I got my last battery going, so I'm going to show you as much as I can, as fast as I can, before this one dies, too. That's just really odd. There's another. See this area? It's a nest. Flattened area with no rocks, where it's just come up and nested. We can find a lot of rocks around this area. Well, everywhere. Like, look at that one. Holy crap. The jagged... Look. Claws right in the rocks. Oh, these are millions of years old. You'll never see them in your lifetime because they're nowhere to be found. They're everywhere, folks. That's why you can't see them. They're just distracting you from these. This reality, man. There are people who know about it. I don't know. I don't know, man. It almost makes me think that we're being just cultivated as food. And the reason there were no people in the photos from back in the day, 1800s, was because all these creatures were released and went on a feeding frenzy. But all of these rocks, all of these rocks, look at them all, all have claw marks on them. All have claw marks on them, the double or triple, I think, dragged through that rock. There's one right next to it there. It's like a semicircular gouge, but every single one of these rocks, every one, every one has triangles beside it, in front of it, above it, going up the rocks. Like, holy crap, look. Triangles. Big ones, little ones, and everything in between. All of these rocks have chunks taken out of them. People don't see it. People don't see it. This is a bite mark on this rock. This is a bite mark. These are teeth. Look. Bite mark. Yummy yums. Chewed through that rock. You can see the teeth marks. Wow. Everywhere everywhere look at this this is probably one of the triangles that was knocked out look you can see it wow man that's mine now uh, not only a triangle rock piece of rock these are the shapes that i'm showing you but with a triangular chunk taken out of that triangle oh man with a look <sighs> oh it's natural Ugh. It's the Ice Age. Wow, look at that. Teeth marks. Or a claw mark just taking that fresh piece off there. Off this triangular shape. They're everywhere. Big ones, little ones, and everything in between. Wow. Okay. Like, you know, not a big triangle, but a triangle, a teepee. Little, little notches out of them. Everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, well, we're heading to a bunch of rocks. It's making me a bit nervous because it loves to come up on these types of rocks and perch. And the day is getting on. Uh, look at them all. Got my feet. Chunks taken out of the rocks. Big chunk taken out of that rock right there. Wow. Okay, preserving battery. Okay, after I show you this one, big slice on one side, notch taken out on the other. It's kind of heavy, but I'm going to put it on a rock and bring it with me if I see it on the, on the way back. But anyway, I stopped again at another slice taken out of the rock. This is a nest right here. See it? Circular. I'll put this one I just found right there. Circular. It comes up and nests right here amongst these bigger rocks. There's a circle. And look at that one over there. Oh, that rock just fell apart. The Ice Age means it just fell apart. Oh, yeah. Billions of years. Um, how come there's a lot of teeth marks in these rocks? Billions of years. Ice Age. But how come there's like big chunks of rock that have been sheared off with 
triangular shapes exposing fresh billions of years, billions of years. There's no such thing as fresh rock. Ice Age. Look. Claw mark dragged right through that rock. Anyway, there's more areas to explore here. Let's go. These are flattened areas. So whenever you see a lot of flattened areas, they've been sliding all over these, smoothing down the rock year after year. Oh boy. What is that? Has it come up and made this little coming up out of the water thing? Because this looks like... Here I come, right up out of the water. I'm going to make this little trough so that I can come up onto the shore. There's claw marks all along there, rocks that have been destroyed. Oh, here, triangular shapes everywhere. Claw marks in the rocks. These rocks are destroyed because it comes up here all the time. Look at that triangular indentation in the rock. Anyway, it comes along here. Look at this, a semicircular area of rock. And everywhere along here, triangles. Chunks taken out of the rocks and flattened areas of the rock. You can pause this and zoom in yourself. Or I can take a shot of here and you can pause and zoom in and see all of the destroyed rocks. Chunks taken out, a gouge taken right out of the rock. Oh, it's just natural. Billions of years. Ah, oh, maybe it was a uh, saber-toothed tiger. It still lives. Cracked rock. That. Look at that long claw mark in that rock. Sliced the rock with its claw. Another. I mean. I'm you can pause all these. I'll, I'll look another area of. Look at that. Hey, I wonder if this chunk out of this rock matches the one I just picked up. Or matches the ones I have out of wood that I picked up on the beach. Wow, I'm keeping this one. And look right behind it. There's another one, big enough to take with me, nice, these are all, look at this, sliced right through that, look at that valley, this is not natural, that sliced through that, it was caused by something, it was created by something that put that triangle there, all these little rocks, all these little rocks, this one right here, I can try and grab it, ah, right there, look at that triangles, chunks taken out of the rocks. I'm taking these. Man, I'm going to have a ton of rocks with me when I go back here. Look at them all. And all these chunks right there. Gouges in the rock. Hmm, what does that look like? A triangle? These aren't made by bears, man. Not made by bears. I'm going to put these Oh, there's one right by my foot. Chunk triangle taken out of that. Freshly exposed. I'm going to put them right up here. And come back and get them on my way back. But look at all the... Look, pause this. And look at them all. You can find them all. All the way along here. Anyway, preserving battery. Okay, there's nests up there. A couple of them flattened areas but look at this mash down rocks it's just kind of mashes them down when it goes over them but little pieces because it chooses up and chews them up as it goes but this is all this is all flat so this is a pathway that it uses flattening this whole all these rocks flattened around in an area and it goes right up there all these rocks pause the video if you want and you can see all of the chunks taken out of them all of the triangles Everywhere here where I'm standing, it's all flat. It's been flattened down by it as it comes along. 
scrambling along the rocks, leaving these little triangles everywhere. Everywhere. Gouge marks. Chunks taken out of the stone as it comes up out of the water. The water's right here. This is an aquatic creature. There's the rocks I just left on the rock. But all these rocks are destroyed. Look, you can see claw marks right through the rock, putting holes in them. This one here is fresh. But there's almost a step up here, and you can see flattened areas. All this rock behind here is flattened. That's a nest. Um, anyway, all these chunks taken out, triangular chunks of rock. I'm stepping up onto this area where Swear to God, look at all the, oh my God, look at that, right in front of me, and all these little pieces of rock, that one right there, and all of these little chunk, little tiny pieces of rock, they've all been chewed up, tossed aside. It sat up here on this, on this flat area, it sat up here, and chewed on rocks. You can see down there by the water there's more more rocks with triangles in them and gouges and valleys and everything. I saw this from the water. Look, there's another one rock just sitting there with a gouge out of it. I saw this area from the water and it's just like you can just see where it's all the destruction of these rocks. It's just come up here and sat up here. Little semicircular areas like that. All the rocks have been pushed away from that area, from this little area, this semicircle, and all the rocks here are flattened down. There's one freshly exposed. There's the piece of rock right there. Oh, snap! What? Look at that one. Look at that one. Anyway, let's go get this piece of rock. Look at it. It's hard to find the rock sometimes, but there it is. And a little notch right there. Everywhere. Notches, notches, claw marks, drag marks, chunks, valleys, everything. Let's grab this one. Oh my god, look at that. So, here you go. This is what it happens. This is the rock right here. Up, up, okay. This is the rock. This is the piece of rock. It didn't just fall out on its own. Wow, man. There you go. And something came along. You can see the claw mark in the rock. The jaggedy claw mark. Popped this piece right out. There it is because it came along this this rock. You can see claw marks at the top of the rock. There's triangles, lots of triangles. Anyhow, there you have it. More nesting areas where it's there. Oh, up there, see? That whole area has been flattened. So it comes right up there at the bottom of the hill and just sits in its nice flattened area. They do, whatever. I mean, they're all along here. Onward. Again, I'm just a little further along here on this flat surface rock, and look at this. Just a giant chunk taken out of that rock. And all the little... Wow. Triangle, like that. That is one giant claw that just... ripped that out, exposing fresh rock. But all along here, this whole flattened area that I've come from. Fresh claw marks on everything. Oh, that was billions of years ago. Look at that. Fresh triangles. Chew marks. On a pathway that looks like it goes right down to the water. Look, sticks. Look. Okay, look, oh my God, look at that.
Look at that. A giant chunk taken out of that rock. Oh, and a big claw mark next to it. That. Holy crap. What else do we have here? Another, another one. Big claw mark taken out of that rock. Sliced through that rock right there. Triangle right there. Everywhere you look. Here, I'll do this again. You can... I'll pause it. Or you can pause it, rather. <laughs> like... Big chunks, bite marks taken out, teeth marks there. Slice taken out of that rock. Just everywhere. This is another nest right here, flattened area. With chunks taken out of the rocks around it. Looks like it went up there. Right up there. And up the hill. Again, another area where it's climbed up these stepped rocks and tucked itself right in the back there. Oh, here. I look down to step and I see rocks, bite marks in the rocks and claw marks and triangles and everything. This is a nest right here too that I'm standing on. You can see it's sort of an indentation with a giant claw mark. Destruction all over the rocks, everywhere here. Claw marks. All right, and then right up to the, right up to this little step, you can go tuck itself in. Back there, or go up the side and perch itself up on the top of these rocks, looking down. But yeah, you look, you can see all the chunks taken out of these rocks too. All the rocks at my feet are just chunks, teeth marks, fresh teeth marks in them and like this one here. I mean you can see a chunk taken out of that and a mark there on the rock. Even little tiny ones, you know, like this. Look, same thing. A little triangular shape. It's been bitten in a little piece by something with very sharp teeth. Okay, so I'm gonna knock it on the head here. Again, through there is another flattened area along this rock face. You can see from the water, there's pretty much a, a clear path for it to come up there and anywhere it wants to come up here go along the flat spot on the rocks it does through this fallen tree and all the way around but it's getting on and my battery is running out again so we'll probably go further next time see what we can see and hopefully we don't get eaten <laughs> enjoy everyone and for god's sake look up